Hey guys, Mike here. So today I want to talk to you about a high growth stock actually uh, that has actually done a big run up and what's more impressive is the timing of this run up, right? And so I want to go over the timing of the run up, you know, show you what I'm expecting to happen with the stock and what I want you to keep a close eye on because I think it is going to present either a buying opportunity if you're going long in it or if you're looking to play options uh, on calls or puts actually. Uh, I'm going to show you why about that, you know, also why it's going up. And then I'm going to show you something that should make you feel better because we've all been there where we have sold a stock and left a lot on the table. We just didn't know it, you know, hindsight. And this sale left man, a boatload of money on the table. And I'm going to show you. I have no idea why they sold when they did, but I'm sure looking back on it, I mean, it is like, you know, kind of like life changing type money here we're talking about. And so I'll show you that uh, as well. And so if you're getting out of it, hit the like and subscribe button for, for me, guys. I really appreciate that. And share the video if you can. I appreciate that as well. So let's go ahead and not waste any more time and get right into this. And so the stock we're talking about, which I've done multiple videos on in the past, is Open Door Technologies, right? And what's shocking about this is you see here, it's starting this upward trend line as the market was selling off. It gets a new higher high, new higher low, new higher high new higher and low right there and then a new high okay and so what's impressive though like i said this is the time the market was selling off and so volatile back in august when this run started right august september were terrible months right and so what we're looking at is you know the thing to keep an eye on what i have my alert for is obviously it's going to come back down to this trend line it's bounced off of it twice actually three times now and so will it continue to go up and bounce off of it or is it going to break through okay and so understand where it got rejected at this is not an accident right if we look over here and just draw a line uh let's see right here you can see we take from right here and we go ahead and draw the way uh, draw it all the way over you can see this was uh at one time support uh for this stock and so it bounced and got rejected right off of it so that's not an accident but i was talking about falling through if you look last time it started going in an upward trend obviously it bounced it bounced it bounced it bounced it bounced and then it just fell through like a rock like most stocks do when they break a trend like this the other thing to look at is we got earnings coming up on november 10th as you can see you got one two three moves up after earnings it usually doesn't do that great on the day of earnings but it's like the day after or something it usually moves up quite well and so we gotta look at that the other thing is look at the volume right here in this move this is institutional buying guys because compare it to the left over here it's obviously you know not retail investors moving this stock up right now and of course you might be thinking well you know mike it's just the real estate market's hot that's why uh, you're seeing this stock move up so much and so he put his top two competitors zillow and redfin up here and you can see that is not the case at all as we adjust this from the day the start uh, of this move you know it has moved up 70 percent since august and look at its two top competitors redfin is only up six percent and zillow is down negative six percent and full disclosure i do own a small position in this stock that's why i've done a couple of videos on it in the past but i bought them when it was ipo d or e or f or whatever it was one of those ipo chamath uh you know spac stocks and so now it's been post uh, spac for a while now and that's what makes it even more impressive to be a high growth stock to be a spac and actually move up when obviously we saw what was happening in the market in august and september which were not good months for high growth stocks and especially not spac stocks good lord whether they're pre or post merger is a dumpster fire time so and the way it moved up setting those new higher highs and new higher lows you know was impressive and so you know the one thing about this company you know the reason why i, I talked about it and kind of picked it over the rest of them was because they're not trying to change their business model around like Zillow's and the others, right? They, they were like real estate marketing companies and all of a sudden they want to get into, you know, the house buying and flipping business. Well, obviously uh, Open Door, that's just, that's their original business model. You know, they have good leaders and so they hadn't had to change anything up. And so, you know, they are in the most markets doing this. Uh, over anybody else and they're considered to be like the biggest eye buyer by about 7x they operate you know like i said in the most markets they have the most cash on hand uh, to buy these houses they've been you know taking on a lot of cash plus they have the uh you know 
the ability to actually borrow up to like $4.3 billion if they want to against their assets. And so if they really want to do that, they can. And what they've been called, and I don't agree with this at all, but you know, great if it turns out to be that way, it's like the, the Amazon of eye buying in a way. And so I don't, I don't go for that. I don't believe that, but that's been, you know, coined quite a few times in articles I've read and stuff like that. Uh, Cause obviously Amazon is the e-commerce giant. Well, of course, or the king of e-commerce. Well, uh, open doors trying to be the king of eye buying and trying to transition and change the industry as a whole, which is going to take years to do by the way. Uh, and so, you know, I mean, I get letters all the time from them. I see their signs everywhere now down here in Florida. And so they keep expanding in these markets and stuff. And, you know, the really popular big market, which is working out. And so one thing that helped them out was Zillow came out on October 18th and said they're not going to buy any more homes for the rest of the year. And of course, that gave them a huge boost because that's one of their major competitors, you know, leaving for the next two and a half months. If obviously uh, Open Door continues to buy as many houses they're buying, um, you know, that's obviously a huge thing for them. So it gave the stock a boost as well. On top of why does Zillow stop this? Because it takes a lot of money to buy these houses, rehab them, and, and get them sold. And so, as you can see right here, this is Zillow's cost to buy a home, fix it up, and sell it. And you know, average purchase price three hundred twenty-two thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand for renovations, holding costs, selling costs, total around three hundred forty-eight thousand. And then the average return for the two thousand eighty-six homes was only around you know twenty thousand dollars, which just isn't a lot when you do that as a percentage and stuff. And so to me, that's one big negative about any of these companies that are in the eye buying space of real estate is the fact that the margins are small, right? Because I mean, as housing prices keep going up, looks well, great on the balance sheet with the assets, but trying to go out and buy these houses they're trying to buy and the prices keep going up, that's a problem because there's no real inventory out there, right? We have a shortage of inventory. And so that's going to continue for a while. But, you know, Open Door has been on this buying spree like crazy. And, you know, just if you didn't know anything about them, I'll just tell you right now, like if you look at their last quarter, you can see how the revenue obviously has increased coming out of the pandemic from Q4 going through Q2, increased quite a bit from 249 million to 747 million to 1.2 billion. And then look at the homes acquired. You can see they've been on a huge buying spree uh, coming into 2021. I mean, look at Q2. Good Lord, 8,500 homes in Q2. Uh, which I believe is like twice as much as their, their nearest competitor. And then, of course, you know, the ending inventory value because housing prices are going up, $2.7 billion is valued at. And just like I said, I did go over, you know, the balance sheet. Remember, this is Q2 here. It's about $1.6 billion. That's actually around $2.5 billion now because they've raised money since then uh, with some bonds. And then, you know, obviously the inventory, the values have gone up. So those numbers are going to go up as well. But look at, you know, total assets, $4.8 billion at the end of Q2. You know, total liabilities, $2.4 billion. So, you know, decently healthy balance sheet there. And there's what I was talking about. And they raised another $850 million in Q3 right here uh, to go on top of that cash to be able to buy more houses. And one thing this company is doing is right here, you see it. We know that 65% of sellers are also buyers. So we are integrating our products into one bundled experience. We are adding buy with open door for each of our sellers who are also looking to buy and bundling title escrow and home loans to make the transaction completely seamless and low cost. And anybody that sold and bought a home knows if you can bundle that and pull that off, uh, you absolutely save a, a nice amount of money on doing that. And so, you know, and by the way, if you sold Open Door or Zillow or whatever, you know, let us know in the comments how the experience was as far as did you get a good price, did you feel like you got cheated? And more importantly, was it a seamless, you know, uh, transaction? Did it take a short amount of time than you experienced actually traditionally selling the house and stuff like that? You know, I'd be curious to know. Like I said, I keep getting the letters, but, you know, I'm not selling my house, so I don't have to worry about that. And so uh, the last one I'm going to show you, I told you. I'm going to show you somebody who sold this stock. It was a 10% owner in the company, okay? And look how much money they left on the table. And we've all been here. Hit me, hit me in the comments you have. God knows I'm guilty of it. Uh, but the, the difference is between us and them is they own over 10% of the company, so they have a lot of insider information. And so this was an informative sale, and I've discussed to you, you know, what informative versus uninformative is. And so they had knowledge, some kind of knowledge, that you know got them to pull the trigger here and i don't know what it is if you do let me know i couldn't find anything but it's a boatload of money they just left on the table if we go to our friends at tip ranks there's a link down the bottom if you want to sign up for it you can see we hit insiders 
and there's the company right there owns over 10 percent as you can see they sold on september 20th you see the sale right there where they sold at and then you see the stock do a run up here and if we go back and click on the sec document which is right there in tip ranks uh, you can see it's svf excalibur whoever that is and you see the amount of shares a boatload of shares right there and they sold at 1669 and just doing the math on that real quick or how many shares they sold i'm gonna times it by seven because the stock price is 24 uh, even though it would be seven dollars and 31 cents technically i'm gonna lower it down a little bit i don't know if you can make that out here but you're looking at 225 million dollars basically okay and so whew, that is a boatload of money because that's a big move from 16 to 24 right and so you know when I see stuff like that, it makes me feel better because guess what? I don't have any insider information like they do. And whatever information they have made them trigger a sale. I don't know why they did it. I'm sure, they had a good reason, but you go, oof, boy, that's a lot of money you left on the table out there. So, uh, anyway, I'd like to share that with you. But, you know, what I'm doing with the stock simple, like I mentioned, you know, I'm waiting for that. I got the, the alert set on that trend line. If it bounces, I'm going to buy calls. If it breaks through it, as you've seen in the past, when it breaks through, things go down fast. Plus, it's up 70%. If I had to lean one way, what I'm betting here, again, it's not financial advice. I'm almost betting it's going to break through that trend line because it's kind of it's due for a nice pullback right now, right? It's been on a, a, a big run up, being a high growth stock, a post SPAC stock as well. You know, those tend to be extremely unpredictable and volatile too at the same time. That's the way I'm playing it. I'm not worried about buying shares because I already have shares and I hadn't sold any of them, you know, uh, since I bought them pre SPAC merger. And so, you know, if you're looking for a stock to get into the real estate industry, who's considered the number one eye buyer out there and trying to change the industry, if it bounces off that trend line, might be a chance to get in there. If the markets continue to go higher, like they tend, they seem to want to do right now. Or if you're just looking for a short-term play like I am, you know, that's the way to go. And so I uh, just want to put that on your radar. Uh, if you got anything out of it, hit the like subscribe button. I really appreciate that, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Hit that link down in the bottom to sign up for a BlockFi account where you can earn up to 8.25% now on your stable coins. That began October 1st. You can also sign up for that credit card and earn Bitcoin with every purchase that you make. That's what I am doing. And parking cash there to earn that 8.25% as well. And plus, you can also go ahead and sign up for any loans you need against your cryptocurrency as well at a very reasonable rate.